Make sure your pilots made out that helicopter that hit you Valen VMH3 is 3CB's standard issue device for IED and mine detection for combat engineers and explosive specialists. It is stored in the engineer's backpack and equipped in the pistol slot. If you are equipped with a Sapper Bergen, the Valen will also display on the outside when present in the backpack. A Valen can also be sourced from a Bath EOD demolitions crate, which can be found in our logistic points or in some containers on our servers. After equipping the Valen in your pistol slot, you can control it using ACE Self Interact, selecting equipment and then metal detector. You'll then have two options, activate the switch on the Valen or connect headphones to make it so that only you can hear the Valen. This is the preferred method of operation. To deactivate the Valen or disconnect the headphones, follow the same process as before. Be aware that deselecting the Valen will also turn it off. You'll need to switch it back on again when you next come to use it. The Valen should be held so that the head appears to be about 15cm from the floor. This will mean you'll spend most of your time looking at the floor while using it. Because of this, your buddied MG will be responsible for your safety while you do this. Sweep 45 degrees to the left and right as you walk forward to clear a safe corridor for other troops to follow. As a safe route is cleared, it should be marked using blue spray paint. Red spray paint can be used to mark active IEDs and mines. If you have it, black spray paint can be used to mark deactivated IEDs and mines. You can set up a hotkey to quickly use paint by adding a key in the controls menu. And setting the key to use your last spray colour, otherwise the key will use a random colour from your inventory. As a general rule, mines should be avoided where possible. Destroyed from afar is unavoidable, and only diffused if there is no other option, i.e. mines on civilian roads or in civilian areas where leaving it or destroying it could lead to civilian casualties. To diffuse a mine, you require a diffusal kit. Once a mine has been detected and you've been instructed to defuse it, lay prone and edge forward to the device with ACE Interact activated. Move very slowly. Some devices are more sensitive than others and the approach to the mine or IED is the most dangerous part of the process. As soon as you are close enough, the option to defuse the device will become available. Once the device has been defused, it poses no threat. Once the ordnance is diffused, it can be disposed of in line with your section leader's instructions. Be wary that not all mines and IDs are visible. Some are well hidden beneath the ground or inside objects and vehicles. Some may also be on command detonators held by the enemy. Mm -hmm. 